with me guys if you ever feel like no one's taking action on your instagram posts or like you have a link to your instagram bio and you don't know why the f people aren't clicking on it well today's video is all about how to get people to move off their butt you know your followers can get lazy sometimes how do we make them like engage share all that fun stuff if you want to learn how keep on watching Hey, what's up you guys? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I truly appreciate it. Today it's gonna be the Ask Jade Show! I'm filming a video! Can you please turn off the music, please? So we're gonna call you guys up. If you're new here, this is the show where I solve your biggest, deepest, darkest questions on social media and Instagram growth. So we're gonna dive in to the first caller. And if you wanna learn how you could be on the next Ask Jade show, stay to the very end. Now, uh, first caller of the day is Antoine. What is up? This is your on the Ask Jade show. Yeah. <laughs> hi Jade and hi Jade moms and hi <laughs> Super excited first of all I wanted to thank you so much for everything that you are you are always doing I'm saying like I wanted to thank you so much for everything that you are doing for us like um, Creating content daily about like uh, being an entrepreneur. So basically I am a fashion blogger who wants to become a designer but um, uh, actually I am fit year medical students because you know I have you know like parents and everything I, I feel like um, I used to have a lot of engagement huh so what's your goal like how many followers or likes do you want like what's your ideal what would make you happy I feel like I'm not getting as, as much engagement as I used to do so when have you been when you've been implementing like longer captions and really like cool high quality videos and stuff like you know how long has it been um, it just has been, I think, one month because, like, I, so, so I just started I doing think, my own videos. Got it. Though it's not like super high quality, but I started doing that about a month ago. I, I think it's high quality. I don't know about you. I think your photos, like everyone, go take out, go take out your phones and go follow Anton and the Dharma Nation will have your back. Uh, but I want to let yeah, you know. Thank you so much. I want to let you know. It's been a fucking month. Like, I don't know why you're so... Like, the fashion designing, you know it's going to take a lot of money to build a brand. Like, sometimes it takes years to design one product. So, one thing, a little bit a little bit of patience. Second thing, I feel like if you want to take it to the next level and you feel like in one month you're still not getting as much, I feel like people take action, right? People take... Um, the, when you want people to comment or like or visit your blog post and they're not visiting they're like why are people not moving you know like why are people I have my link in my bio why is no one clicking you know maybe that's something you're thinking about correct yes exactly so the thing is why do people not move or why do people not like or share their friends it's because the one thing that moves human beings is emotion for example if you talk about a shoe i don't feel no shit like i'm a cool shoe dude so what i would do is you can do the following and i really highly suggest you guys and Antonin to do this pick one emotion in one photo because you are a designer and you know like when you see a dark color it feels something with maybe winter so like you know how to address emotion so what i would say is if you're talking about a look and you feel like it's a moody look and you can tell a story that makes people feel either fear trust uh -huh or love humans are motivated by fear so if you can literally tell a story that makes people scared i don't know this might be really weird because you're normally talking about tips and tricks so my next level thing is for people to get their off their ass is by emotion make people feel scared give them a little bit of something and you have to tell a story and then you can they'll, they'll click they're gonna move right right now what you're doing is posting nice pictures but it doesn't do shit for people because they don't feel as much as like if you just do a quote it won't do something for them why don't you tell a story and a narrative especially since you're like a medical student and you have a lot to share for having so much stuff yeah. to do in a busy day so you you feel like i should uh, continue posting posting high quality content but i issue caption like something that will bring emotion like joy or fear or like um happiness sadness to people so that they will be they will they will actually interact with what i am doing that's what you are implementing i think yes but the thing is you have to understand humans it depends because if you're trying to give people fear you you want to actually give them hope it's a very counteractive thing so for example if you're trying to get people to donate money to your foundation there's a reason why a lot of commercials have a lot of guilt like that sad puppy in the corner you know what i mean so for you yeah, if you want to 
Right. If you want to instill like hope, like hope to become, you know, if you ha want to achieve your dreams, like maybe that's the emotion you want to instill. Like I want to give people inspiration. You actually have to do the opposite and show them fear, show them vulnerability. That's why people have a hard time telling stories because they don't want to show the dark side. They don't want to become Mr. Like unperfect and they don't want to show like no makeup selfies. That's why not a lot of people do what you can do. So I really tell you to show a lot of struggle in your caption and maybe talk about something you're facing. Oh, thank you so much, Jade. You know what? I wanted to ask you, do you think it's a good idea like to um, talk about things that are not related to the things that I'm actually posting? For example, like I can talk about how to be um, motivated or how to choose your path. Do you think it's a good idea? So I'm going to make this very easy for you to understand. It doesn't really matter about what you think, what what's, a, what's your good idea. It's about do people care? Like, do you think this all goes back to your niche? Like, do you think your 25 to 30 audience? I don't know. You have to let me know. But like, do you think they'll care if they don't? then you, wouldn't, you shouldn't post it. Like, it's all about what they think. It's never about, people always think like building a personal brand is about yourself and about like what you think is cool. Just why don't you try it out? Like try it and see what happens. That's what I'd say. Oh, thank you so much. Like you're such a nice person. I'm so oh, I love you, Antonio. I literally, by the way, I fucking like your style. I'm gonna go follow you just cause I love you. So sweet, I'm gonna cry. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Listen, party people, I want to let you know, similar to Antonin, and I love you guys so, so much. The reason why I tell you this is because it's hard. What you guys are doing is, it's hard. Like, it takes guts. There's not a lot of successful people in the world for a reason. Not every single one of you have the guts to talk about things openly on social media. So if you ever feel uncomfortable, it's a good thing. And if you ever feel like this is too much, <laughs> let me know. Uh, but you guys know on this channel, I don't give you anything but the truth. And people need to be a lot less fluffy on social media. And you have to realize that no one gives a shit about your little shoe. No one gives a crap about your cute little blazer talk about what really matters to people and then they'll pay attention to whatever you have to say next. It's all about getting the curiosity and an interest first and then you can shove in whatever you want to sell or think next, up to you. Like, do you even want to sell? Like, you don't even have to. All right, guys, that was all for today's episode. People keep hanging up, so I'm just gonna cut it close for this one. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so, so much. So much love, you guys know. Um, if you're so far enjoying this video and you'd like to join the Dharma Nation, which is this little group of community who is into Instagram growth, but as well as many other things in life, like, you know, kind of going on your own path. I think the hardest thing in life is to be vulnerable um, and not give a shit what people think. And I got a lot of questions. Hey, Jade, how do you deal with hate or people thinking you're stupid? And I think that's another thing I want to dive into. So if you want to hear more, make sure you give this video a like to let me know that you like this video and subscribe to let me know that you are enjoying my content. Dharma Nation, don't disappoint me. Implement, execute, let's do this. Peace out. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.